I'm from Croydon and I moved to Paris five years ago. When I was a kid, I didn't eat much French food. It was hard to meet people at the beginning when you don't speak any French. The hardest people to cook for are chefs. They're really difficult, especially if they're French chefs. When I say I cook professionally, they, they don't they don't believe that I cook professionally. They say, like, you're English, you can't cook. But then when I explain to them that I've trained in Paris, that I studied at a culinary school, I studied French patisserie, then they they soften up because it's French patisserie. One of the first things uh, we learned to make at culinary school was how to make uh, tart pastry. This is like, I made it myself. It's just like some, uh, like a little kind of drawers with a chopping board on top. But you do what you have to do to make your kitchen work. And most Parisian kitchens are like this. Quiche Lorraine is very easy to do. And it's simple and it's tasty. It's not much. You need, just need some pastry, you need some bacon, eggs and cream. That's it. That is creme fraiche. That's full fat and that's not diet version, okay? I mean, I see my food more with the, how the whole bistro thing is going. So you're taking, you're taking the classic French coq au vin, for instance. Why don't we change it a little bit and make it a bit more fun? You could do a barbecue version. So you do chicken on, the, on a barbecue stick and then you make a red wine marinade. You marinate it and you make a little sauce with it. And it's coq au vin. It's got all the flavours of coq au vin, but it's... The format, the way you present it is a bit different, it's a bit more fun. And it's not snobby, it's not snobby at all, which a lot of people think French food is. It should be a pleasure to eat, it should be enjoyable. I'm sure if you were to calculate the calories, it's not that bad. <laughs> C'est tout, that's it. <laughs>